I've been eyeing the Wacom One Display Tablet for about a year now because I wanted the feeling of drawing on paper while actually working on a computer, allowing me to skip the scanning process. However, its original price was just unacceptable to me seeing that I already own a laptop with pen drawing capabilities. The only issue was that the feeling of drawing on smooth glass was such a terrible experience for me that I would rather draw on paper and then have it scan it instead. Recently, I came across this product again while it was on discount and the price finally fell to a point that was acceptable to me. So here it is. Let's try it out. Seeing that this is the first time I'll be using this Wacom One display tablet, I don't want to do anything too complicated with it. I just wanted to know how it feels like when I'm using it and share my opinion of it here. To that end, I shall close one eye, stop all thoughts, and create the most random, ridiculous character my moving hands could randomly produce. I don't want to think too much about the creation, or else the next thing I know, it will start to resemble a typical humanoid figure again, cartoon or not. I wanted something nonsensical. Something that can only be created if I stop thinking. Something simple and pointless. As you can see, somewhere along the line, I failed and it started to look human-like again. I have to stop myself from going along that direction or else it will revert back to looking like a generic cartoon again. To my expectation and joy, drawing on it does indeed feels like drawing on paper. 3D sculpting for me now finally have the semi-tactile feeling that I long for. If you are interested in my 3D sculpting tutorials, I have a number of it that I will be placing links to in the description below along with my Patreon if you would like to support me there as well. Where this tablet really shines was during 3D painting. I can safely say that using this tablet will be my de facto way of painting directly on 3D models from now on. The variations of colors and saturations produced by the pen's ability to detect 4096 levels of pressure really adds to the natural look of things when soft imperceptible gradations of colors are required.
I don't like to sculpt characters in a set pose because I don't like to create one-off unusable 3D works that are only good for that one pose. I find that to be a complete waste of my time but that's just my personal opinion. I prefer to create characters that can be rigged and then be posed and reposed again and again. I spent two days rigging this character because I'm rather OCD about surface deformations and I individually weighted the vertices one by one to ensure perfect deformations during animation. This might be overkill. I don't advise anyone to behave like me in this area. And to keep things simple, I'll probably just be posing the character like this. Like a typical MPC. Not combative like this, but more like chillaxing, posing for the camera like this. Probably make the camera like pans around the character when he does this. I'll probably be putting the character in like a jungle environment because I bought like two nature themed add on from the Blender Market site Terra Scans and Jungle Scape. But Jungle Scape was gifted to me by the developer himself. So um, I think that's because I bought another add on from him. I think it's the broad leaf add-on. What I like about the jungle skip add-on is that the trees already have animation built in, which is good because nobody got time to animate trees, okay? There are even options for you to adjust the speed of the sway, so yes. Yes. So all in all, I find this to be a worthy purchase for those who like the tactile pen on paper experience. It's a nice enhancement for the 3D sculpting process and absolutely necessary for the 3D painting process. If any of you are presently using some kind of display tablets for your creations, please share what they are and why you prefer or not prefer them so that those reading your comments, including me, can better guide our future purchases. This is Bracel Jack and I will see you next week.